Hey guys, welcome back. So, so we are down on the cold nap, and it's living up to its uh, it's living up to its namesake. It's bloody freezing here. The winds are up. It's been rather wet, but we're out and we're giving it a go. And uh, there's been uh, a few decent fish come off here the last uh, the last couple of nights. So uh, fingers crossed we can pick one up. So I'll just get up and I'll go and just show you the uh, the setup. We are in the Ian Gold's um, igloo. A great shelter. Many fishing one rod at the moment. Uh, I've got the uh, the Icon M Sport paired with the Pen Five Two Five Super Mag, and I've just got a uh, uh, what have I got out there? I've got a one up one down rig. One up one down with some sandy on at the moment while I get myself organised. So we're going to fish till about 7 p.m. tonight. Um, so we've got a good four hours, four or five hours fishing. So yeah, fingers crossed we can uh, we can pick something up. Hopefully on camera. So, I'm just going to put a, uh, another rig on to go out. I've got, uh, what have I got going on here? So, I'm going to do a con, I, I've got two rods with me, but to be honest with you, I can't be asked to fish two rods. So, I'm got a small hook out at the moment and then I'm going to put the puggy rig out with some big hooks on and then just uh, swap and change. One big, one small, one big, one small. So on this one uh, it's just a puggy uh, with some big hooks on and I'm going to put a, full, a whole squid bait on that now. Wang out out there see if it's uh, see what's it. So big squid, big squid. Um, I've got a new lens on, on the GoPro today, it's the Max lens. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be any good or not, but we're going to give it a go. So all I'm doing here is I'm feeding the, the, the main hook in and out of the body, a bit like sewing, and then I'm coming into the eyes, and stretching the two eyes, and back out, and pull it nice and tight, and then with the top hook, Fetch right down the body. The top hook the opposite way to the bottom hook. Like that. And now we're going to put a bit of bait elastic on it to help hold it in place. Now, some people don't like bait elastic being used. Um, I think. When you're using big bait, you don't have much choice when you're casting them out off the beach. If it was on the boat, I would just drop it over the side. Off the beach, I don't think you've got much option if you want your bait to stay on during the cast. And to last any more than five minutes out there. So there we go. There she is. Both hooks. Uh, visibly, visible. And that's just going on to a an imp, five ounce lead, just a pulley swivel on it, and that's got a sixty pound wood body and a twenty pound hook length, which for this beach here I think is up. So we're just going to fetch out one in. Wang this one back out and see how we get on.
Smashed all up. Okay, guys. And we've got the first fish of the day. The packet. So, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the Blank Beaton. Um, it's only a small fish, but it's in wonderful condition. So I'm just gonna go and get this one back. And we'll get the next one cast out. This is Paul's first uh, beach sea fishing trip, so we've brought him down to a cold nap to give it a go. And uh, like I said earlier, it's living up to its name, it's, it's cold. It is. So, uh, as Paul's just starting out, he, he hasn't got much gear, so I've given him a, uh, a continental rod to get started. And Ray, who's just walking over, say hi Ray. Yeah, he's kind of monster. Uh, he's, uh, he's given him a, a Daiwa Moonraker. Uh, we've given him some weights, some rigs, so between us we've got him enough kit to get started. Fingers crossed he can catch a fish on his first attempt. I've Say hi. One. Hi. <laughs> I've had one bite. He's had a bite, which is good. So yeah, hopefully we can get the, uh, we can get a fish on camera for him. Okay, so we're just getting a, a second rig ready to go. When we wind back in. So this is the clip down, one up, one down clip to the cascades with the, and the SRT screen. So on here we have got uh, some black rug, frozen, tipped with a, little bit of a squid. So there's the two baits here, ready to go. And I'll quick show you quickly how this one works. If I can do it without getting tangled up. I quite like these ones. So your bottom hook, um, this is a Gemini uh, worm clip, worm shield. That one goes in there, like that. And then you get your cascade swivel. That one takes the, the next hook, keeps it all in line, streamlines the bait for casting. Um, to be honest, it makes, doesn't make a lot of difference in this wind today. Casting's really hard work. You're only getting 80 yards at most. Here you are, so let's fall back out. Not a very good demonstration. Let's try again, shall we? You do this a hundred times, no problem at all. You put the camera on and it all goes peak top. So that's how she sits. Nice streamlined bait to cast out. More SRT spring at the top takes pressure. As soon as it hits the water, shabang. So yeah, so only got one pound for me so far. It's time for the coffee. It is. Everything feels better after the coffee. Paul's just hit the snag and he's lost the hook then. He hasn't got another one ready to go, so what I've advised him to do is the bait on the other one was not touched. Wang our one back out, so he's still fishing, and then get another rig out to get that kitted up and then fetch him in and do a straight swap over. 
try and maximise the amount of time he's got in the water and hopefully get him a fish. It'd be, uh, I'd be over the moon if we got him a fish on his first session. It doesn't happen very often. So it's just getting dark. Um, clip lights are on. I'm expecting the fishing to pick up a little bit now at the moment. It's only me that's caught with a small pout in on the first cast. I am hoping that even if it now is coming up to high water and it's getting dark, the white thing come on the feed. So Paul can have his first ever beach fish. That would really make my day to get a uh, subscriber and a first time fisherman uh, on, on to catching the fish hopefully he'll be hooked for life then so fingers crossed if he does get one I'll try and get over there so we can uh, we can film it coming in it's actually turned out to be quite a nice day okay guys as the darkness has come in Ray's had a bite and he's had a fish Probably the smallest yeah. dogfish you're probably ever going to see. Tiny little puppy dog. A tiny little pup, but it's a fish. So that's two of us now with a fish. Fingers crossed we can get one for Paul. We're yeah, just it won't be long now. If the dogs are started, he'll start to catch a few. Fingers crossed. We're just going to get this one back. Pop this one back now, and uh, hopefully get hopefully get a few more. Okay, guys, mission accomplished. Paul has had a knock. It's a nice knock and he's caught his first ever beach sea fish and it is a little pouting. He's over the moon with it. So yeah, it's been a, a fantastic result. Thank you very much Craig for bringing me. You're welcome buddy, you're welcome. I'm really pleased you've caught the fish. Right? <laughs> We've uh, just put in the bucket so we can recover. We have Said it's only small, but it's his first fish and he's over the moon. So hopefully we've got uh, we've got somebody else hooked. Ah. Honestly, guys, you, you, the, the feeling of taking a subscriber for their first uh, fishing trip, supplying most of their gear, and then they actually catch a fish and seeing that smile on their face, priceless. It really is. I'm absolutely over the moon for him. Okay, so the tide has turned. We've got probably about an hour's fishing left then before I want to get home. Um, good couple of hours to get back up to Worcester. But one fish apiece so far. I did think that they would have come on the feed as darkness come in, but at the moment that hasn't been the case. But we've all beaten the blank, so that's a good. That's a good one. Uh, I've just snapped off as well, so I was winding in, I brought it nearly all the way in and it got caught on one of the pebbles and uh, snapped off. I couldn't get the bugger out, so I'm waiting for the tide to drop down a little bit and then we'll go back down and see if we can uh, see if we can find it. I hate leaving stuff discarded, so uh, fingers crossed we can find it. Ok 
Okay guys, that is it. Just coming up to seven o'clock and it's time to call it a night. We've all had one fish, uh, one fish each. I had a pout, Paul had a pout, Ray had a little pup that you've seen. So we've all beaten the blank. We would have hoped for a few more. But hey, you can't win them all, can you? You can't win them all. We beat the blank. That is the main thing. Looks like uh, Ray is just chucking another fish back, so obviously he's had a second fish. So yeah, so now it's time to keep it, get back in the car, and hope we've got enough charge to get back to Worcester. And take spray first. It may be a cheeky KFC on the way home. Definitely a cheeky KFC on the way home. So, thank you very much for joining us, guys. Uh, hopefully we'll be back out again soon. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And uh, stay safe and tight lines. Cheers, guys.